Hi, I'm Polly, and this is my Folding Swifty One. I've called her Anthe, so because she's anthracite and black, but yeah, she's my Swifty One. I'm a volunteer for Limb Power. They are a charity that encourage people with all limb difference, not just amputees, to encourage them to get active. I brought my scooter along to the Limb Power event and it does get a lot of attention. When I was a kid, I used to um, have fed bowel seizures and we found out that I was also having, I had septic arthritis in my knee, which basically meant that my knee joint grew deformed. I lived pretty much in hospital from like the age of 13 and a half up until about 19. Throughout my 20s and 30s, I was pretty much housebound. Um, unfortunately, my illness just kept getting worse and worse and my mobility was getting less and less, even with wheelchair use. And so um, when I was 38, I finally got approval for having an above knee amputation. Um, because of the complications of sepsis, they, you know, the doctors agreed that it would be better if I was an amputee. After I'd had my amputation, walking any kind of long distance is a workout and it's knackering and you end up with a lot of back pain. And because I couldn't keep up with my friends, I went back to my doctor and I was like, you know, is there any kind of like scooter or, you know, there's something that I can use that will take the pressure off so that I can still keep up with my friends. And the, the options that he gave me were pretty archaic and very much a mobility aid. And there was absolutely no way I'd be seen dead on them. <laughs> I just wouldn't. I went along to the old fire station pop-up market um, and Swifty Scooters was there. Um, and they'd got like a little test track with like ramps and stuff and loads of people were just going around and having loads of fun. And I was like, I kind of like that idea. And then I found out that they did a foldable scooter. And basically, my car is my mobility aids. It's like my legs. So I've got a little Fiat 500, but I needed a scooter that would fit in that car because I need them both to go hand in hand together. So I wanted to be able to fit the scooter in my car so that I could go to the park with my friends, park the car in the car park, get the scooter out, unfold it, and then get on with my way. Whereas before, if ever I arranged to meet somebody, it would always be like in a cafe or a bar. You don't have to yeah. walk that far and you can park the car almost near outside. Um, it's just a lot easier to be active. Like It's hard to ride like a normal bike as an yeah. amputee. Um, but just getting on that's so easy. Like You don't have to really don't have to get think the about it. And yeah. the tape out. yeah, exactly. <laughs> get on it and then still be really active. Since having the scooter, compared to just walking, walking is really limited, but with the scooter, I don't have a limit on how far I can walk. One of the main problems when you're an amputee is that you end up with hip contractures, or you end up doing that, it's called the amputee dip, where you kind of dip to one side when you're walking, which means that all this gets really, really tight, all of your trunk muscles get tight, and my physios have noticed that since I've been using the Swifty, my hip contract is gone. The nature of how I use it and how I scoot with the prosthetic means that my leg can now drop and I've got full, ra full range of motion back in my hip again, which is like, that. the doctors have literally said to me, there's no way you can iron out a hip contracture the stage that it was at, but with the Swifty One, it's ironed it out completely. What you're doing is you're working from your prosthetic side, you're working your hip muscles and your glutes to help propel you along. Yeah. So as you go to push down, you're pushing back with your glutes yeah. and also extending open your hip. Yeah. So you're getting more range at the front of your hip flexors, which yeah. is really important for when you're walking. But what's also happening is you're engaging those core muscles. Zipping them up. You're zipping them up, yeah, exactly. And you're trying to stay up nice and tall, not letting those hips twist as you're um, scooting along. I use my Swifty a little bit differently to everybody else. I can't really alternate legs, so my balance is on my good leg and my prosthetic powers 
the Swifty. So it's a little bit cyborg powered, but it just basically means that the leg is doing a lot of the work, but it means that it's opening up my hip. Um, I'm also standing more straight. I've noticed that my shoulders are more back. When you're on the Swifty, your shoulders are pushed back. It firms you all up. Basically, I had my amputation when I was 38, and now, four years later, I'm free. I can literally do whatever I want. Literally, my amputation has given me my freedom, but in actual fact, my scooter has given me my freedom because now I can get out and enjoy summer again, which is the first time I've been able to do that in years. I used to always have to plan ahead and look into, you know, scrupulously plan ahead. Where am I going to go to the toilet? Where am I going to do this? I don't have to worry about any of that now. So the Swifty gave me my freedom back and that I can't thank them for, so thanks.